In this video, I'll be talking about the visual pathway from the retina to the brain. Information travels from the retina in the eye to the optic nerve, through the optic chiasm, the optic tract, the lateral geniculate nucleus of the thalamus, the optic radiations, and primary visual cortex. The right visual field is shown here in yellow and the left visual field here in green. As you can see, some information from both visual fields goes to both eyes. Information from the ipsilateral visual field goes to the nasal portion of each eye, closer to the nose. And information from the contralateral visual field goes to the temporal portion of the retina, closer to the temples. At the optic chiasm, the nasal fibers cross to the opposite side, and the temporal fibers do not. Posterior to the chiasm, the optic tract travels to the lateral geniculate nucleus of the thalamus. The lateral geniculate nucleus of the thalamus has six layers. Layers two, three, and five are from the ipsilateral side, and layers one, four, and six are from the contralateral side. Posterior to the lateral geniculate nucleus, the fibers fan out and are called optic radiations. The optic radiations synapse in primary visual cortex in the occipital lobe. As a result of the partial decussation at the optic chiasm, all information from the left visual field ends up in the right visual cortex and vice versa. We can see here the effect of different lesions to the visual system to your visual fields. In particular, note that a lesion to the optic nerve is the same as a damage to an eye, whereas lesions to the optic tract result in loss in a visual field. 